Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. Um, I do have a Virgo-only channel and a Leo-only channel. Those are below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a monthly giveaway on the channel. I give away tarot cards cards, oracle cards, and crystals. So just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section. Winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. I do not take personal readings. <laughs> so phone numbers below in the comment section are not me. If anybody hits you up in the, uh, on any form of social media, it's not me. Okay. Um, a recommended reader that I can give to you guys is Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. Many of you watch her anyway. She does $10 off reading. So if you need a reading, you can check her out if you'd like to. Okay. All right. Let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about cancer in love, please. Tell me about cancer in love, please. Cancer in love, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cancer in love, please. Cancer in love, please. Cancer in love. Okay. So we've got the Ace of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Judgment card. And we have the Six of Wands in the reverse. And we've got the King of Cups. We could be dealing with a Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We have the Four of Wands, we've got Temperance, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, we've got the Hierophant with the King of Pentacles, and we've got the Seven of Swords with the Six of Cups. Okay, so Cancer, this is going to be the past position for you, Cancer. Okay, I feel, I feel like what we have going on here, Cancer is a situation where somebody here was potentially um, being used in a sexual way and they realized that they were never going to win, okay, a relationship with this person. So the person it could be you or your person made a final judgment call to move towards something else. Okay. This something else that they moved towards could have been a very strong divine soulmate. Okay. Um, four of wands, twin soul, twin flame, temperance, divine soulmate, uh, the hierophant also divine soulmate. This is marriage. This is marriage. This is a divinely guided union. Cancer. We could be talking about a same-sex couple for some of you. Okay. We could be talking about a same-sex couple. Or we've got the king and queen of pentacles here. This is somebody that, you know, is straight up with the king of cups here. This king of cups is looking right at this hierophant and the king of queen of pentacles. What this is telling me, Cancer, is that in the recent past, somebody here moved away from a strictly sexual connection here that was making them feel like shit. Six of wands in the reverse is um, not having confidence, not being proud of who you are, you know, never being chosen, uh, never having confidence or security in a connection. Okay. So they moved away from that. Now, Cancer, that could be you. That could be your person. Okay. And I feel like we're moving into an energy of massive commitment. I mean, this is marriage, mom, dad, husband, wife. This is moving in together, signing contracts, buying a house. You know what I'm saying? This is, I mean, absolutely beautiful. King and queen of pentacles with the hierophant, ace of pentacles, marriage proposal, buying a house, dropping money on a down payment. Okay. This is beautiful. The problem is, is this boom, seven of swords and the six of cups. They're still talking to this sexual fuckery over here. Okay. 
So Cancer, if you're the one that did this and you're leaving a, uh, you know, a situation that was purely sexual and you didn't see any success or victory in it, you may be still talking to this person or Cancer your person is, okay? I don't know if you know about it or if you don't know about it. I have no idea, okay? Tell me about this Ace of Wands in the reverse. And yeah, see, Eight of Cups. This could have been you or it could have been your person. I don't want to be used, for sex. I don't want to be used as a toy. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Six of wands in the reverse and the emperor. I want to be, you know, your only one. Six of wands in the reverse and temperance. I feel like somebody was patiently waiting for a long time for this sexual situationship to come together. And I feel like we have someone that just said, okay, listen, you're just using me as a toy and I got to go. Okay. Now this happens to men too, cancer. So I just want to make it clear that if you are a female and you're dealing with a male, don't think that, you know, men get used just as much as women do. Okay. Or, you know, it could be vice versa. You take it any way you want to take it. Okay. But my point here is, is that somebody was just being used as a toy. They walked away from it. Okay, they walked away from it. Judgment. Oh, gosh, that came flying out. Judgment card with the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, Cancer, I'm, I'm not chasing this anymore. I'm not going to answer you anymore. I am cutting you all the way off. But see, the problem is with the King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles here. That's the problem. This is the problem, Cancer. So you see, this King of Cups, do you remember how the King of Cups was looking at the King to the Queen of Pentacles? So what we have here is one person that's taking on the energy of the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So they have this connection where they have found the stability that they were seeking. They found the loyalty that they were seeking. They found the title that they were seeking. Like, you know, not friends with benefits, but husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. Do you see what I'm saying? They found the title that they were seeking, but cancer, their heart remains. So you see, they're looking towards the present position, but their heart is still missing somebody. Their heart is still missing somebody. You see, they walked away and left someone out in the cold, but they're still looking back. They're still looking back. They're doing what's best for them. They're manifesting the right future that they wanted for themselves. They're manifesting someone that's going to love them. They're manifesting, you know, that loyalty and everything. The, 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 the solid, committed relationship that they want. But they're still looking back, Cancer. Okay? Now, coming into the present moment, Cancer. Coming into the present moment for Cancer. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse with the three of pentacles in the reverse. Tell me about the present moment for Cancer. Oh, these, oh gosh, four of wands in the reverse. Hold on, Cancer. Yeah. So Cancer, in the present moment, I mean, you can't hold a relationship like this, okay? It's never going to work. Three of pentacles in the reverse is being unable to build a solid re relationship with somebody. It's just not going to work. Because with the Eight of Swords here, we have somebody that can't forget about a past person. This is someone that is straight up 100% still in love with a past person. They see, they know that nothing's ever going to happen in that connection. So they have made the, t the, the decision to move on and that's natural and normal. Many of us are in that position right now where we're still in love with somebody or no matter how much we love somebody, we're coming to the realization that it's not going to work and we're going to try to move on. You know, I'm there myself. Many of you might be. I don't know, but it's going to be very difficult in the present moment for this connection to come together. Someone here may be breaking a wedding engagement. Someone here may be leaving the house. Someone here may be moving out. Okay. It's just not working. It's just not working. And it could also be not working because with that eight of swords energy cancer, there could be someone here that knows and they feel it to their core that they are not being loved. Do you understand? They are not being loved. Yeah, they have this beautiful connection on the outside. Yes, they have the nice home and the nice car and everybody knows them. And they have that comfort of that person always being there. 
because there's a sense of stability cancer, but what they don't have, what they don't have is, um, what they don't have is, uh, is love. What they don't have is love. I'm getting here that somebody can feel it. They can feel that their person's heart is somewhere else. They can feel it. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Whereas in the beginning, somebody here could have been very romantic or loving or giving or attentive. Some, that attention, someone stopped putting in the work. They stopped putting in the work. Four of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here pulled back their energy. All of a sudden, they don't want to talk. All of a sudden, they don't want to go out to dinner. All of a sudden, they don't care about anything. Okay? Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups in the reverse. So, guys, the Five of Cups in the upright. Okay? This is looking at everything that is wrong. Even if you still have love in your heart, you're looking at everything that is wrong. This is exactly where this person was in the recent past. No matter how much I love my friends with benefits situation here, it's just not going to work. There's too much wrong here. But now it's in the reverse. You know what? I don't care how this person treated me. I still freaking love them. I still love them. I still love them. Do you understand? So it's like... And this is a perfect example, Cancer, that you can have someone that checks off all your boxes, but if it's not, the love isn't there, it's just not there. Four of Wands in the reverse for Cancer. And the Seven of Cups, it was all just an illusion. Whatever this offer was that was coming in was all just an illusion. So Cancer, I don't know if you're the person that was treating someone as a friends with benefits. I don't know if you're the person that's walking away from a situationship. You're going to find a new person that is solid and stable and loyal and committed and all everything that you've ever wanted, but your heart is still with the past person. Okay. Um, or I don't know if you're the innocent bystander in all of this. I don't know if it's your person that is still sprung on an ex and you're constantly left feeling like you're unloved in the connection. What do we have here for the future position? Okay. Page of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. The Three of Wands and the Ten of Swords. This Queen of Pentacles is fed up. Someone here could even have a child. These two may have had a child together. Cancer, what's happening here is somebody is fed up. They are fed up. This Queen of Pentacles is done because you see with the Page of Cups and the Three of Wands, these two can't stay away from each other. The, whoever here is, these two in, that are in this situation, they can't stay away from each other. With the Two of Wands and the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups, there was a communication that came in and whoever here had claimed to have moved on just jumped right in and answered. They jumped right in and answered. Okay, now Cancer, I feel like for many of you, the position that I feel like many of you are in Cancer is this Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like many of you are just the innocent bystander in all of this because I'm seeing the King to the Queen of Cups, I'm seeing the Nine of Swords, I'm seeing the Sun card and the Three of Cups. You just know it. You either know that there's a third party or you know that these two reconciled. Why? Because with the Two of Swords, there's a major separation between you and your person. Even if you're living in the same house, you could be living on the other side of the world for, for all that it matters because this person has completely whew, taken off on you mentally and emotionally. So they could be sitting right next to you and it's like nobody's even there, completely checked out. Tell me about the three of wands and the queen of wands. Yeah. See your person, you're dealing with someone here that's always going to be seeking this friends with benefits type of situation here. Okay. And the problem, the problem with this is cancer 
is that with this five of wands and the nine of pentacles is that without this person you're presenting yourselves yourself as a nine of pentacles pre empress energy you're presenting yourself as someone that is wife husband material very abundant very independent very self sufficient okay you don't need this shit in your life. You have people that are fighting over you. You have people that would kill to be with you, Cancer. You don't need to be put in competition with anybody, okay? And Cancer, I feel like you, you, you've had enough here. You've had enough. Somebody here is tired of being dragged into these two, the, the, these two people here. They're all of the fuckery, okay? Queen of Wands and the King of Cups. That's what they're showing up as. They're not even a true pair. You're very sick of it. You're, you're tired of it. You just don't want to be, you know, and this may not be the first time, Cancer, with that Ten of Swords energy. This, this past situationship may have been a problem multiple times between you and your person. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take it into the extended cancer. I want to find out what's next for you, um, you know, because with that ten of swords here and that five of wands and that nine of pentacles, it looks to me like there's a final ending here. It looks to me like a fight may break out, you know, where this person doesn't want to lose you and they don't want you to go. So what will happen if you reconcile with this person? What will happen? What's going to happen with this situationship? And Cancer, if you're really, really done, which I feel like many of you are, what's coming towards you? Okay, what is coming towards you? Because with that Nine of Pentacles energy, um, you may have a whole bunch of things that you're trying to do here. Buy a house, buy a car, you know what I'm saying? Find new love, what, you know, maybe move or something like that, you know? Because see, the Ten of Wands, the Hermit, the King of Swords, and the Fool card. This is you, you know, going through. Do you remember what I told you? Was it in this reading or another reading? Sometimes we stay with people because we're more in love with the idea of the future that we have with that person than the actual person. So Cancer, what I'm actually seeing you go through right now is this energy of, and this is what the hardest part is, thinking about what's next. Thinking about what's next. Where do I go from here? What's happening next? What am I doing? Do you see what I'm saying? Where, where do I go from here? I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, the Death card, the Tower, and the Star card with the Two of Cups, what we have here is an apology coming in, someone claiming that they've changed. It's going to be a Tower for you because I feel like you are on your path of really like being alone, accepting the ending to this situation, moving, you know, the thinking about where you want to move, where you want to travel to, like you're just thinking about what comes next, Cancer. And out of nowhere, you're going to get communication from this person telling you that it's really over with the third party. I want you. I want only you. I'm not going to talk to this third party anymore. I'm leaving them. I'm going to be committed to you. You know, is it true? Is it true? Uh, you know, is the fact that you are truly walking away from this person and you're serious, like this is no more threats. It's no more, uh, you know, crying or screaming. You're too calm, Cancer. You're way too calm. You have completely pulled back your energy from this person. You are emotionally and financially independent from this person. You don't care anymore. Your only concern is yourself and what's next for you. Okay. So when this message comes in, it's going to kind of throw, kind of throw you off for a second because they are literally saying the words, it's over between me and them. I want to leave this behind. I want you. I want commitment. I want to fix our marriage or I want to come back home or, you know, I want to still get married to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like out of nowhere, someone is saying, I am completely done with that past situation. Can we make this work? Can we make this work? Okay. So in the extended, I mean, let's find out what happened with this queen of wands energy. Is it really over between them? Should you kind of stay? Should you go? You know, let's, let's just continue it on in the extended. Okay. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you all there. Bye my loves. Oh, I'm stuck here.